Have you ever noticed your cuts taking longer to heal or caught yourself fighting another head cold and wondered if a missing nutrient is quietly holding you back? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and joining me is Alara Sky. Today you'll see why up to one in seven adults in the United States isn't getting usable zinc each day. How that gap disrupts your immune defense, hormones, and even sense of taste, and the exact steps you can take to correct it. Most people think of zinc only when cold season hits, yet it's working around the clock in more than 300 enzymes that protect you, repair tissue, and direct cellular growth. The challenge is that you don't store zinc long term. You need a reliable daily supply, and common roadblocks, plant based diets high in phytates, chronic digestive issues, or simple stress, keep you from absorbing what you eat. Those roadblocks explain why symptoms masquerade as other problems. When you notice frequent infections, thinning hair, or a fading sense of smell after an illness, low zinc is often the missing link. Because these signs overlap with vitamin shortages, thyroid issues, and aging, they're easy to dismiss until multiple warnings pile up. You also see deficiency hiding in specific groups. Older adults with reduced stomach acid, Teens in growth spurts, pregnant and breastfeeding women, vegetarians, vegans, and anyone with Crohn's or celiac disease all land in the higher risk category. For you, falling just short each day silently chips away at hormone balance and wound healing long before lab results sound an alarm. Pregnancy raises demand even further, pushing the recommended daily intake to 11 milligrams and 12 milligrams during breastfeeding. Zinc drives DNA replication and fetal immune development, so meeting that threshold matters for both you and your baby. Suboptimal levels during these stages can linger as developmental hurdles later on. The most reliable way to cover your needs is with food your body can actually absorb. Oysters top the list, packing more zinc per serving than any other food. Right behind them are grass-fed beef, crab, and dairy, such as aged cheddar, these animal sources come without the phytates found in grains and beans, so you absorb more of what you swallow. If you rely heavily on plant foods, phytates bind zinc in your gut and escort it out unused. Soaking, sprouting, or fermenting grains and legumes reduces that binding, but even with those methods you absorb less than from meat. That means you need more total zinc on a vegan or vegetarian plate just to break even. Supplements fill short-term gaps when you're recovering from illness, healing a wound, or belong to a high-risk group, yet dose discipline is critical. Keep daily intake under 40 milligrams, unless a professional directs otherwise. Above that line, you invite copper deficiency, nausea, and in extreme cases, nerve problems, new issues no one wants. Zinc lozenges can shorten a cold by about one-third, but timing is everything. They only help if you start within the first 24 hours of symptoms, because the mineral must meet the virus in your throat and nasal passages before it spreads. Intranasal zinc sprays, on the other hand, are off limits. Too many users lost their sense of smell permanently. Spacing matters with medication as well. Zinc interferes with how your body absorbs antibiotics like tetracycline and rheumatoid arthritis drugs such as penicillamine. Take those medicines at least two hours before or four to six hours after zinc, so each does its job without canceling the other out. High-dose zinc taken for weeks can also tip your copper and magnesium levels downward, leading to anemia or tingling in your hands and feet. That's why food first, supplement second, remains the safer blueprint unless you're under medical supervision. Putting this into practice starts with a simple audit. Look at your usual meals for the next three days. If oysters, beef, crab, or dairy rarely show up, plan at least one serving daily or pair a modest supplement, no more than 15 to 25 milligrams, with a meal low in calcium and iron to boost absorption. Now for your challenge. Within the next 24 hours, choose one zinc-rich food, oysters if you can source them, or grass-fed beef if not, and build a meal around it. Track how often you include that choice over the coming week. If plant foods dominate your diet, pick one grain or bean you eat often and try soaking or sprouting it before cooking to loosen phytates. 
Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.